But I don't it's... know if you cut it in the <laughs> post production. <laughs> You can choose what you want to have in there, but I'm just saying that we have to be transparent about these issues to 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 understand. Yeah. Uh, women I know they tend to choose safety than autonomy. not satisfied with themselves i think they are not uh, getting uh, enough validation from their work if you ask like a say a greek woman or, uh, even in my mom's generation they don't have hobbies they don't um, play music they don't paint they don't uh, it's only you know for the for the older women it's only to nourish their kids yeah. And since they do that, life is over. Okay. Since yeah, the kids are when, old when enough. You, yeah, because I think about when you are having so much passion in your work, it has to come from you because that is like, if you don't find your own passion, how can you bring it to workplace? It's like um, uh, when I started music, because I do sound design, it's like mm. if I if I just uh, stop doing that, I would never make a business because that's not who I am. So if I'm going to make a business, I will have to bring my passion first and then I can do yeah. a business with that. Uh, yeah, because, yeah. Uh, it's Definitely. yeah, it's and that might be the male brain, but that's the why I'm talking about what you were saying about yourself, that you feel that you've always been the, the male kid in the family. And that's, I think, is very feminine. It's just that we haven't found that females can be passionate because yeah. is, we've been told that females are not passionate. They are, yeah, mm. like you said, attractive and they're supposed to be looked at instead of, yeah, instead of looking, instead of yeah. being the active participant and, you know, being the one that constructs things, the one that designs, um, architecture yeah, very, organize uh, yeah. organize your your dreams organize your life yeah. like what do you want from this life as we speak it comes to me the answer like uh, there's no fulfillment there is a little bit of depression there I oh think. yeah mm -hmm. that's interesting because um i thought that all of greece were a little bit depressed but <laughs> uh, ever since i came here I see like a lot of dissatisfaction depending, not, not genderized, but you know, when you say it, women has a lot to say there because it's like uh, wherever I come where women are powerful, changes happen in society. It's also yeah. in co communities, you know, if women start something like in Oslo, where I was living once, there were some gardening women. They were starting communities together within city gardening, you know. Suddenly, a lot of people came and it just mm -hmm. bloomed into a business. And that's like, I think that we are underestimating we female passion, you know. That's true. Yeah. Because it's or, like... Uh, or girls don't find a way to express it. Or even when yeah. they express it, they get a lot of punishment for that. Mm -hmm. uh, for... Since they were kids, you know, like oh. uh, you, you can't be loud or you can't be angry mm -hmm. or you can't uh, climb uh. on mountains, uh, let's say, mm -hmm. for instance. I it's a boy it's thing, all... you know. It's so disappointing to hear, actually, because when I read about uh, the Greek goddesses, you know, <laughs> Artemis, for instance, uh, you know, um, Athena hmm. is always those who are, you know, they are emotional, they're expressive. Do you not have any of those ideals anymore? Or are they just vanishing or it's like... Um... Just for tourists? Yeah, possibly. I can sense a flatness uh, going on. Mm -hmm.